state international action, PCBs have declined by up to 83% since 1992. And although overall exposure remain high, it has declined markedly since, uh, since that time. Eating traditional food is an integral part of who we are. It, uh, and we are exposed to chemicals such as PFCAs and their related compounds uh, because uh, it reaches our homelands uh, from other parts of the world. Uh, we do not um, produce these chemicals, um, but we end up with a higher amount um, in our bodies. The higher amounts are seen in pregnant women as well as in uh, unborn babies. So um, there isn't enough studies, but the studies that we do see show adverse effects, um, health adverse effects on us. So um, we would like this, these compounds uh, to be put into Annex D. Um, I, I understand that, you know, that these are complex compounds and that they are ha ha hard to, to research, but at the same time, uh, will we, we should not have to wait to have such negative effects. We know that uh, there are health uh, issues um, re related to, to this, uh, and um, it will take time for these numbers to go down because we do have a higher amount within our bodies and with our unborn babies. So I'm confident as with PCBs that we will start seeing numbers going down if it is banned.